Greetings everyone, uh, today I would like to continue my random talk about the random stuff. Uh, recently, the um, world had you know, some bad mood, so I cannot be, uh, you know, just be positive all the time. And uh, currently I'm working on my, you know, this, um, another type, um, horsepower, uh, you know, this prayer banner thing. And this time it's going to be very unique. I hope it's the first time uh, someone, you know, this created something like this. This is about sex. So sex is kind of taboo, you know, this subject here in Mongolia. But these little demons, Mongols, love word in you know, this sex. If I make a video titled like uh, sex, sexy or like uh, dirty or, you know, this etc etc uh, they might you know this um, a lot of people might watch it watch it because um, they share and uh, someone you know this constantly searching you know this googling for you know this mongolian sex <laughs> something like that so um, i'm not sure if i'm going to make a, a video explaining it in mongolian because I uh, noticed that, you know, these Mongolians are, you know, somewhat, you know, this became uh, mentally retarded. And when they see, you know, this naked, like, um, image of a woman, like this uh, ass, looks like um, Kim Kardashian's ass, and uh, she's holding the Hilk Khan's, uh, you know, this junk. Uh, am I using the right word, junk? Uh, they go, you know, they might go nuts and they um, even call me a Tlatlar, meaning a Muslim. Uh, well, uh, we all know that Muslims do not create, you know, this human and animal art. They um, like to depict a lot of flowers. But uh, in shamanism, you have to draw animals, not the flowers. So it's a kind of a cultural, you know, this opposite. Um, the speaking of you know this mental uh, retardation, um, when you look at you know this old you know this Buddhist uh, you know, these paintings, uh, this is going to be uh, uh, in this book called Mongol Jiruk, meaning Mongol art or Mongol painting, and uh, you will see a lot of you know this disturbing scenery. Uh, you will see a lot of naked you know this woman you can see a lot of boobs you can see some god's ass and uh, they are having obviously having sex etc etc and um, um, where is Irlik Khan let me find him oops Yep, Irlik Khan. So in this image of Irlik Khan, or they are calling it as Yama, um, they are offering, you know, this, uh, believe me, this is human leg and human arms, tongue, uh, heart, ears and eyes, etc. in a skull bowl. So um, this is very disturbing and obviously, you know, this, um, this hanging boobs are also very disturbing and it seemed you know this in old times all these images were you know this quite uh, uh, accepted and as uh, one more thing about these images uh, you can see that uh, the sun is here and the moon is here moon has uh, this circle the uh, sun has these rays so sun is in the east moon is in the west uh, but in my, you know, this, uh, in my uh, prayer banner, uh, the cock uh, or the sun is here and uh, the bunny, uh, moon bunny is in the uh, east. So I find it, you know, this, the right position and I, f uh, I find it in my uh, grandfather's, you know, this, uh, you know, this prayer, you know, this banner press, you have sun here and you have moon here and if you press it the moon will be here 
and sand will be there something like that but mm, and, uh, in all this you know this Buddhist uh, in, in the most in Buddhist art it seems you know this um, uh, the red sun is here the white moon is here uh, you have sun and moon let me show you a bigger picture yeah this this uh, this white thing is like a moon this is sun so uh, moon seems to be all, all you know this moon always in the west moon sun is always in the east so um, when you look at you know these gods that are you know this riding something oops where is it yeah uh, like this they always go this way they always go this way and they always you know this face this way this way so um, clearly uh, they are going from the from the light towards the darkness so personally I find it a little bit you know this uh, bizarre or I thought it was you know the, it was wrong well, um, these pictures has less spiritual power because these are going to be a copy. Uh, well, it depends on your, you know, this uh, strong belief and such like. This one is going to be have more spiritual power because this is a uh, real. This is going to be a real painting, so this has some value. Uh, not, you know, this other things uh, so this is going to be fairly old you know these paintings and I have you know this fairly new one like this this is going to be an image of Chinggis Khan and uh, in old times there is no image of Chinggis Khan but there is all, all these you know Buddhist gods and Buddhist you know this uh, lamas etc etc but now we have such you know these um, images of Chinggis Khan his father and mother his brothers and his generals his queens and his ministers and his uh, you know these eight good luck horses and uh, you know this Awa this is going to be our you know this um, version of you know, this pyramids so our you know these pyramids are like very primitive compared to you know this Egyptian uh, pyramids so uh, uh, I guess I'm talking too much or too long uh, let me you know this explain all this you know this symbolism and such etc et so um, in this case um, I'm going from the darkness towards the light like in you know this uh, uh, like in the communist age, but uh, during the communist, you know, this age, the horse went this way towards the light. Um, now uh, the uh, sun should be here and uh, go this way. Well, um, the sun and moon position is very important because um, there is a belief that if you put, you know, the sun in the wrong place and if sun rises from the west, it means the end of the world. So. According to a Mongol belief, uh, if sun rises from the west, the world is going to end. Or if this world is going to end, there will be, you know, I think there will be, you know, this new world, something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm placing, you know, this um, cock in the west and the bunny in the east. Well, uh, we, we could, you know, this follow, you know, this... Uh, commoners commoners the art of commoners is like this and this is not a so so called re uh, religious uh, painting this is a some family scene so um, the wife is in the uh, east and the husband in the west so it's logical to put cock in the west 
So Ilk Khan stands for male desires and he is the one who gave a man his manly desires and the Kara Omae or the Dark Lady Karama, the Karma, um, the Dark Goddess gave uh, women uh, you know, this, uh, their female desires. So um, uh, when you think about the female desires, it's like it's very you know this disturbing. I mean, um, um, man is obviously not so you know this sexy creature, and um, uh, when you think about the female desire, how can they like desire all these muscles and hairy and you know the, all this uh, creepy stuff? So I'm kind of lucky to have you know this. Uh, male desire which desires a beautiful woman you know this woman is obviously beautiful you know this all this clean stuff but it seemed you know this female desire is like very naughty uh, well I'm going you know this wrong direction so I have this endless knot this time uh, this is going to be heart heart-shaped endless knot so um, um, the, the reason why I put you know this knot or endless knot because uh, this symbolizes you know something that's uh, again and again or endless something like that so um, please bring endlessly you know this good luck horse something like that so obviously I am having you know this uh, free wheel uh, our wheel burning wheel and um, since I'm basing it on Ilk Khan's myth, I'm putting a cat, the pussy cat, and uh, the dog. So um, according to Ilk Khan's myth, um, uh, the creator, you know, this uh, ordered uh, the cat and the dog to guard humanity from the, you know, this from the evil, from the hooligans, and obviously dog can guard you from the hooligans. And a cat can guard you from a uh, hooligans, uh, meaning a uh, mouse. A mouse is a little thief and hooligan. And um, the final piece is going to be, you know, this actual should be actual, you know, this uh, scene of uh, sex. But um, you cannot, like, you know, this depict, you know, this um, how to say sex directly. So uh, you need. Uh, uh, some somewhat you know this uh, express it in somewhat symbolic way so um, there you have a naked man um, a couple that does not wear a shoe uh, sho uh, sh shoe shoeless is here in Mongolia sounds like a shameless so they are being shameless and they are being almost naked and um, uh, woman is helping man's, um, you know this, uh, you know this man help, uh, you know this water his horse. Obviously, man can water his horse, but uh, there's a question: Why woman should help man to water his horse? Well, here in Mongolia, uh, watering one's horse is means to um, uh, have sex. If you say. Uh, uh, meaning uh, I wish to water my horse it means uh, I want to have sex and I'm like um, can I like uh, water my horse uh, from your uh, you know, this uh, well something like that so woman has this well or bucket uh, full of water and uh, something like that so this symbolizes sex according to a Mongol uh, mentality something like that all this stuff is obviously based on the, you know, this language, something like that. So, um, some of you may wonder why I have put, you know, this uh, uh, swastikas here, because um, here in Mongolia the swastika is a symbol for gender. I did explain why it became a symbol of gender. Uh, today I would like to explain why it is called a symbol of sex so the swastika is the symbol of sex something like that so um, uh, you have uh, something called the uh, ass 
So this is going to be S. And if you uh, put H, has, has, or simply has, it's going to be this uh, inner uh, soft part of a, uh, you know, this leg. So inner soft part of the leg is called has. Uh, word has means the swastika. It can be this swastika or this another swastika. It does not matter. So um, imagine that this is, you know, this uh, oh, this is, you know, this human legs and uh, man and woman. So um, in order to have uh, some sex, they need to do this. Um, but you cannot create a swastika like this, or you cannot create. Uh, maybe you can create. So in order to create a swastika, someone must, you know, this go uh, down. Someone is on top. And uh, these these things like uh, these legs are like going. Sorry, can you see the swastika here? Yo, so <laughs> like that. So yeah, oh, yeah, something like that. So the swastika is a um, symbol of uh, sex uh, because of language and stuff. And interestingly, if you put uh, balls here, it's going to be male ass. Uh, this this uh, part or this male thing thingy is called uh, uh, zasa. Uh, zasa. Uh, zasa, something like that. So the inner, uh, you know, the part of a leg is called uh, hasa, hasa, zasa, something like that. So a swastika is a symbol of for you know this sex and uh, uh, so I put uh, this um, male swastika as a male desire and uh, female uh, swastika as a uh, uh, female desire something like this. So I have to make an announcement that I will be gone uh, for a week or more because I'm going to have some business trip. And um, I guess I must think about the, you know this other stuff to put here, and I'm planning to put uh, some fish because fish is the one of the main symbol for uh, sex, and um, in Mongolian uh, language, uh, fish is uh, uh, it's. Um, uh, it's like it get can it can turn into word like uh, um, you know this sex. Why? It's um, it sex can be like uh, uh, sex. It can be since a and the a is the same. It can be like uh, um, sex, and s can turn into sex. So it's like. Fish, uh, basically, if you draw a fish, it's like you know this something fishy, and it, it also can represent you know this sex. And here in Mongolia, when there is two fish together, uh, it means you know this sex, something like that. So yeah, mm, yeah, mm, I did uh, make announcement. Well, that's uh, pretty much for the day, and uh, thanks for watching.